Hey, hey, let's talk about cycles, all kinds of cycles. Let's talk about routines today. So the first thing I want to bring up is, you know, there's a lot of power in routines. And most of our life is comprised of habits, well-formed habits, right? Like think about when you drive to work and on the way to work, all of a sudden you realize, boom, you're at work and you don't remember getting there. But you know you you got there, right? Because your life is running on habit. Same thing with your get up and go in the morning schedule, right? I get up, I let the dogs out, I give them their their supplements, I make my tea, I pack my lunch, I take a shower, I get ready to go. Fake ears, right? I... Quiet puppy. Um, And then I walk out the door. And most days, that means I remember my phone, I remember my lunch, I remember my tea, the dogs get put in their, their kennels for the day, right? All of the things happen if you run on schedule and you get there on time, right? Once you've figured out, okay, this is how long it takes to get to work, everything runs on time. So now I can free up a whole bunch of mental space because I don't have to think about all the steps to getting ready to work, right? Compared to say this morning, when I'm just starting to get my habits, hey Beth, I'm starting to get my habits for what I do in the morning before I go and do a video, which meant I had to do the video twice because I forgot to hit the record button and I forgot to do a couple of steps. So my morning took a little bit longer today because I'm not used to all the steps, so I'm still forgetting some of the steps. So when we maybe use a list to speed up the process of forming a habit, but then when things become a habit, discipline becomes easier, right? So for example, early this year, I said, I'm going to walk a mile and a quarter every single day. Boom. I am the kind of person who walks a mile and a quarter every single day. Now I had to tell myself a lot that. I had to set alarms and I had to set reminders and I had to write it down so I would remember to do that. Now I'm looking at the weather today going, well, when's it gonna be nicest out so I can go for a walk, right? I know I will get the walk in. But once you've made a decision that you walk a mile and a quarter every single day, discipline is freedom. Right? I don't have to think about it. I don't have to make that choice every single day. Should I walk or shouldn't I? Well, the weather's crap. Am I walking on the treadmill or am I walking outside, right? I mean, these are the, these are the decisions, not do I walk or don't I? Not do I have the water or do I have the coffee? Not do I exercise this week or not? Those are givens. I exercise this week. The question is what time of day? right? And the more disciplined you are about it. For example, I get up every morning and I exercise before I go to work. Okay. Or I exercise on my way home from work. And the more you are able to stick to that routine, the easier it becomes for you, first of all, to remember it. But secondly, for other people to remember it, right? If you always work out after work and somebody says, hey, we got happy hour coming. Why don't you come join us? Thanks. I already have plans right after work. And it just becomes a lot easier, right? Especially as people start to learn, you have plans right after work. You don't do happy hours. You do coffees. You do stuff before work. Whatever, right? Discipline is freedom. Now, what about other cycles? Like, okay, every payday. What's your payday cycle? I get my paycheck. I pay the bills. I go grocery shopping. So I have all the food I need. What are other things you do on a monthly basis? And then there's things that you do on an annual basis. For example, I rake the yard when it gets dry enough to, to rake the yard. I, I put the pool up the 1st of May. No, we don't get in at the 1st of May. We're not crazy. But if I now know, right, after a few years of we put a pool up every year, the first year we put it up that first hot day. And then you can't get in it for like a week because it's so cold. And it took us a few years to learn. If we put the pool up the first week of May, then by June, when it gets really hot out, at least the water's not 33 degrees. 
the water might only be 50, but it is not 33, right? And we take the pool down around Labor Day, right? These are part of our annual cycles. We disconnect the hoses at this time of the year. We, right, what are the things that you do on an annual cycle, right? It makes life a little bit easier. Now, let's talk about things like the lunar cycle, right? Every 28 days. If you were a surfer, because you're not from Minnesota, you would know that you don't try to surf when the tide is going out. You surf as the tide is coming in. I think I got that right. Um, you you know what time is it, that is, right? And we know that the moon affects all the water. Thus, it affects you. And we know that our menstrual cycle is supposed to be 28 days. Well, maybe it's not 28 days now. So maybe it's not 28 days because perhaps you are using some hormonal birth control. No judgment, just that would be something that artificially changes when your cycle happens, right? What are some other things that might artificially change the length of your cycle or how the cycle works? Could be, could be stress, right? How many had a short cycle this month? Yeah, I did. What about, what about what you're eating, right? The more fruits and vegetables and proteins you eat, the more regular your cycle is going to be. If you support your cycle, like you know that it's your estrogen phase. So during the estrogen phase, we implement these protocols because that's what the body likes to run on. We like, we do this for seed cycling. We do this for the warming and cooling protocols. We exercise in this way at this time, and then we change it as it goes halfway through. If we support the body, how the body is intended on that cycle, then life becomes easier. Weight loss becomes a non-issue because it just happens naturally. Brain fog and concentration just happen when you support the body how it wants to be supported by following the cycle, right? So on that note, heads up, bonus day, last day to purchase the Use Your Cycle program. It's an online program where I give you the seven protocols that the body prefers and when to implement them in your cycle. You can download them and ignore me and have them for when maybe you're less busy. You could download this, download them. And if you have more time right now, you can start implementing the ones that make most sense to you, or you can implement them all. Included with the program are not only the protocols, but two weekly trainings. We do a training and we do an accountability call where you can, on the trainings, I'm going to teach you about the protocols, give you some more information. And with the accountability calls, if you have any questions or need any further tailoring on those protocols based on your lifestyle and your cycle, we can do the tailoring. The recordings, if you're not able to get on live, the recordings will be available for you within a couple of days and you will have those recordings for always and ever. The beauty of the Use Your Cycle program is that these are protocols you can use from your first period all the way till you die. Even once you discontinue having periods, you still have a hormonal cycle. And if you support that hormonal cycle, you can ward off some of the effects of perimenopause and menopause. Weight gain doesn't have to be a given if you support your body. Brain fog doesn't have to be a given if you support your body. No more sex after menopause doesn't have to be a given if you support your body. Now, I feel really strongly about using your cycle. This is for women of all ages. I made this program super duper affordable. So if you have time right now to start implementing some of these things, you can do it. I will not ever offer this program at $49 ever again. This program will be much more the next time I offer it. So if it's something you thought you wanted to try, now is the time to get in on it. Today is the absolute last day. I will post the link in the comments. I'd love to have you join us. Our first live training is tomorrow. So if you want in, today's the day. Have a fantastic afternoon.